Hello folks, it's Russ Sallow here from gps to go I'm going to show you a how-to video on our latest build of the Checkmate 5.5 software. I'm recording this on October the 26th, 2010. So we have a demo account we can use here. We can log in here, GeoTab demo version 5.5 and then we have our login credentials. This would be the same style as what you will log in if you are a customer you'll get these login credentials and all the information in order to get into your own private secure account so the screen is going to change for us so when we get in the screen is going to refresh and we're going to be at level one what we're going to do simply is we want to always double click on start full version and we're going to go one level into this higher and this is the uh, full version start full version Let's maximize the screen here. Checkmate is now starting. So whether you are um, a first time user or you've been using this for a while, you'll want to click on start full version. Live map. Everybody always wants to know where are my vehicles. Just click on the live map. The screen is going to change for us. and we're going to get our vehicles coming up here so if I hold down the control bar and I want to see a bunch of these vehicles I can select the ones that I want to see I can hit the word show and it's going to show me a rendering of all those vehicles where they are live on the map so we have a vehicle down here near the Ohio area and we've also got our other vehicles up in the Toronto area where we double click on the map is where the map is gonna be drawn into plus we can just click and drag the map very easy okay so you're quickly able to see you've got one driving some vehicles stopped where they are breadcrumb trail if we go back to the home button we click on trip history trip history is another way of saying breadcrumb trail so we want to see where 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 how fast they went let's uh, look at this group here we'll open that up and there's a bunch of nice vehicles in here so we have a time filter whether it's today yesterday last week or a custom date so if you want to go back to a specific time and specific date so let's select here a couple of these vehicles and if we hit the word apply select a couple of more here there's so many of them so what we're going to get here is a rendering of all of the actions of these vehicles so for instance we have bus J1939 we can see the unit came on at 849 drove for 22 minutes arrived at 912 a distance of 21 kilometers and the address Sparks Nevada okay idling for five minutes maximum speed of 85 kilometers if I want to see this trip if I just double click on that line what the map will do is it will render that trip for us So we're able to see all of the breadcrumb trail of where that vehicle went. And if we mouse over, it tells us the name of the vehicle, the speed, the time, the date. So we can see all of the breadcrumb trail with this. So this is the first part of our tracking how-to video for the GeoTab Checkmate. 